perhaps it is the right inflection point right till date uh, we were looking at stadia only as a real state and that's the reason uh, the conversation has always been about uh, you know the augmentation from a real state point of view mixed use uh, you know facility coming through apart from the sporting event and all even under omda uh, you know there is there is significant uh, provision uh, to look at the mixed use uh, retail and hospitality uh, it's not as if it's only limited to uh, sporting as a as a as a core yeah of course that has to be the core given it's a sporting venue so so 30 years plus 30 years lease and all of it however i think the most successful model is not purely from a from a civil and augmentation point of view but also creating assets when i say asset i'm talking about softer assets right uh, so a role of a concessioner is not necessarily to just ensure that that the infrastructure is upgraded and upkeep but also to ensure that this asset is swept swept to its core now that could be via by themselves or through partnerships by various sports management company retail management company so on and so forth which continues to bring more and more asset uh, you know to sweat 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 any of the facility you now jln is a prime example you know what comes out of it is for all of us here to see uh, in 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 that sense but uh, you know at what level utilization is happening whether it's 50% 60% 70% through various ways and means is one of the core element and when we do structuring of any of the concessional period and the lease period that's one of the first element that we look into it right uh, what are the boqs that will really or a revenue line item that will really uh, start allowing me to put in more capital expenditure for augmentation of the facility so both has to go hand in hand uh, you know to my mind and that is where uh, the real success of uh, this entire uh, development will happen